Oppo has recently introduced their very first smartphone that features a 64 megapixel main camera and it is the brand new Oppo K5. And if you have missed the opportunity to purchase the Samsung Galaxy Fold, here's your second chance to purchase the latest foldable smartphone. Tune in to today's episode of Ichimi to find out more. Shortly after announcing the Oppo Reno Ace, the company has now introduced their new K5 smartphone. This is Oppo's first quad camera smartphone with a 64 megapixel Samsung GW1 sensor, an 8 megapixel ultra wide angle camera, and two 2 megapixels camera for portrait effects. It also features a 6.4 inch AMOLED display, an upper mid range Snapdragon 730G processor that's mated up to 8 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of storage. The device also gets a frame boost and touch boost optimization for better gaming experience. Powering the device is a 4000 mAh battery and it supports Oppo's 30 watt VOOC flash charge 4.0 technology that uses USB C. In China, the Oppo K5 has a starting price of 1,899 renminbi, which is around 1,124 ringgit. Unfortunately, there is no word if this device will be arriving in our local market, but we will keep you updated if it does. The Samsung Galaxy Fold had sold out in Malaysia on the pre-order day itself last week. If you want to get your hands on this premium dual-screen flagship smartphone, mark your calendars for the 18th of October 2019. In case you missed it, the Galaxy Fold with 12GB of RAM and 512GB of UFS 3.0 storage is officially priced at 8,388 ringgit. The device is available in Space Silver and Cosmos Black and you can get it at participating Samsung Experience stores and chain store retailers nationwide. According to Samsung Malaysia, the device is available with limited quantities. All units come with a Galaxy Fold Premium service which includes 24-7 premium care line, free on-site pickup and delivery for service support within 12 months of purchase and priority express lane at service centre. There's also screen protection which consists of one-time inner screen crack replacement within 12 months of purchase. The Redmi K20 Pro, which is also known as the Xiaomi Mi 9C Pro in our market, has recently just passed DxO Mark's mobile camera evaluation. This device is powered by a Snapdragon 855 processor and the best part is, it is super affordable. Interestingly, this smartphone has gotten a score of 102 points, which is similar to the Google Pixel 3. Under the new testing protocols, the triple camera Redmi K20 Pro has gotten 108 points for photos and 89 points for videos. And to refresh your memory, the K20 Pro features a 48 megapixel main camera using Sony's IMX586 sensor, a 30 megapixel ultra wide angle camera, and an 8 megapixel telephoto camera that's capable of 2 times optical zoom. If you do own a Xiaomi Mi 9T Pro, what are your thoughts on the camera performance of this smartphone? If you're coming back from KLIA or KLIA2 via e hailing services, it seems like there's a new pickup point that you have to take note of. Before this, you could get a grab or other e-hailing ride from the arrival level, but now you have to hop on at the lower level of the terminal. Starting from the 12th of October 2019, the pickup point for e-hailing for KLIA will be located at the main terminal building at level 1. And if you are arriving at KLIA 2, the pickup point will be located at the transportation hub at level 1. According to Malaysia Airports, this new initiative with assistance from other government agencies aims to improve the traffic and to ensure a more systematic public transportation flow at the airport. Thank you guys so much for watching. So as usual, if you like this video, remember to give it a thumbs up, like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel and also hit the notification bell icon so that we inform whenever we post a new video. And remember to check out our latest video here and also last episode Ichimi here. That's it from me and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!